Phone Arena proudly presents its video review on one of the most thrilling cell phones as of now, the Samsung Omnia HD, also known as the i8910 HD in other regions. It is the first device that features HD video capture and playback and sports an 8 megapixel camera. It also has the largest AMOLED touch sensitive screen to have ever graced the market. Hold 3.7 inches with 360 by 640 pixel resolution and 16 million colors. As you can see, the phone itself is quite slim, only 12.9 millimeters, and this is an accomplishment in itself given what's under the cover. It is smart indeed, thanks to the Symbian S60 5th edition operating system, just like the Nokia 5800 Express Music, but unlike the latter, it utilizes Samsung's TouchWiz 3D interface. Made of plastic, the phone feels solid when in your hands, so you don't need to worry. Unfortunately, the plastic casing simply loves fingerprints. There are as many as three buttons on its front side, send, end and main menu access buttons. The huge touch-sensitive AMOLED screen utilizes capacitive technology and delivers great image quality with its vivid and saturated colors. Moreover, its brightness is controlled by an automatic white sensor located next to the video call camera. On both its sides you will find the volume rocker, micro SD slot, screen lock button, micro USB port and camera shutter. Now here is where the 3.5 mm jack is hidden itself. One of the stereo loudspeakers is located right next while you can see the other on the opposite side. They are capable of producing loud, nice quality sound, although not as good as the Nokia 5800 Express Music. Now here's the eye of the monster, or in other words its 8 megapixel LED flash camera. Both snapshot and video capture deliver good results, but more on this is coming on later. Here's the TouchWiz interface in all its glory. Just like other phones it runs on, it's beautiful and motley looking with the well-known widgets. You have three separate widget screens on the Omnia HD that are easy to switch between by tapping an icon at the top of the screen. We do like the option that allows you to lock the widget positions so as to prevent you from displacing them once you have put them in order to your liking. There are some airs and graces the manufacturer pampers you with such as 3D navigation. Sliding your finger left to right onto the home screen gets you to your photo contacts. You can dial any of them by just tapping the assigned picture that in turn can be easily tagged in a Facebook style manner. Here's what we mean. Let's open a picture, trace out the face and assign a contact number or just give it a name. Speaking of the contacts, you can append as many numbers to each entry as you like, as well as add extra information, photo, ringtone and the like. The only limitation is the available memory of the phone. Searches can be performed by sliding a finger upwards and downwards or through the text entry field. Just like the Nokia 5800, a keyboard pops up that features an alignment similar to the one found on navigation systems. The starting letters of all names you have saved on the device show up at first, but after taking a pic, only the necessary letters remain on the screen. You can enter text, say type a message, to either virtual keyboards. One is a fairly common phone keypad, and the other a full-fledged QWERTY that, thanks to the larger display, feels much easier to use alongside of the keyboard found on the Nokia 5800 Express Music, plus the device ports handwriting recognition. Unfortunately, if you feel like getting connected to your email inbox, you'll have to punch in all necessary settings manually, 
even if you happen to use a popular email provider. Quite annoying of a 2009 high-end device, ain't it? The internet browser is not dissimilar to the one found on the Nokia 5800, at least when it comes to its functions. But this one features a more colorful and appealing interface. You can see that pages and flash content, including YouTube player, load almost without a hitch. Navigating on such a large screen is pleasing indeed. You need to double tap to zoom in or out on things. The latter is also carried out through holding your finger pressed against the screen. The 8 megapixel camera features interface that looks a bit unvaried and even grim, just like the Pixon does. It simply doesn't go with the motley looking menus but is pretty easy to use on the other hand. You've got a number of options at your fingerprints when you turn the camera on. You can set up ISO up to 1600 and naturally capture videos in HD. Quality of pictures taken outdoors is really good and such like what the Innovate delivers. Colors are realistic, pictures look detailed and noise level is acceptable. The camera captures video in HD at the promised rate of 24 frames per second, which is actually quite a performance for a cell phone. You can visit phonearena.com where you can find some sample shots and a video. Now let's get down to its multimedia capabilities, starting up with the music player. That's the menu you can use to filter content and a nice looking interface with large buttons pops up whenever you start a song. You almost immediately notice the 5.1 channel sound option, but aside from it, there are several equalizer presets and sound effects. Turning the phone aside gets you to a wonderland. Not literary, of course, but you're taken to an interface that looks a whole lot different. It shows you covers and art of all the albums you have and you navigate through the content by sliding your finger sideways just like in cover flow on the iPhone. Once you have selected an album, the interface remains the same and the song list turns up on the right side of the album cover image. And here we made it to the most thrilling function of the Omnia HD, namely HD Video Playback. You can use either the built-in Symbian OS Real Player or the other one that comes preloaded onto the phone, Video Player. We kind of prefer the second one because it has more pleasing interface and subtitle support. The i8910 HD also supports DivX and XVID playback and watching movies on the huge 3.7 inch AMOLED screen is an awesome experience. We did not encounter any issues like stuttering or skipped frames and the colors are simply mind-blowing. Now we leave you for a short while so you can witness what we're talking about. Now it's time we passed our verdict. We believe the Omnia HD raises the industry standards to a high level and it's surely going to make it to the top 3 list of any high-tech buff simply because the phone is capable of HD video capture and playback with absolutely no issues. It sports a lovely 3.7 inch touch sensitive AMOLED screen and is pretty slim for a device that packs such a bunch of numerous options. We also need to add the snapshot quality its 8 megapixel camera delivers and the good sound playback quality to the list of its pluses. Our only complaint relates to the mediocre sound during talks and we surely expected more with this regard. To read our exhaustive written review on the Samsung Omnia HD packed with a number of pictures, HD video test, snapshots taken with its camera and 360 degrees view of the phone, please visit phonearena.com.